बिस्मिल्लाम सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू और सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर ऑन नोमेटिकल सोल्यूशन ऑफ पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेन्स एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फाइव वी वर डिस्कसिंग पैराबोलिक पी डीज एंड वी वर डिस्कसिंग एक्सप्लिसिट मैथड्स टू सॉल्व पैराबोलिक पी डीज सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ओवर लास्ट एक्सप्लिसिट मैथड ऑफ दिस कोर्स टू सॉल्व पैराबोलिक पी डीज so in parabolic pds we are only discussing 1d heat equation so this is going to be our last explicit method of this course du ford frankel method last time we discussed richardson method the big drawback of richardson method was that this method was unconditionally unstable now in du ford frankel method what we do is we will replace the ui n term of richardson method with the average value of ui n plus 1 and ui n minus 1 like richardson method we discretize the time domain using central difference formula of first derivative and the space domain using central difference formula of second derivative and after doing that we will replace the ui n term of richardson method with the average values of these two terms ui n plus 1 and ui n minus 1 after that we will rearrange this equation and also we will name this constant like usual a delta t over delta x square with some new name like d because all these things are constant alpha delta t delta x whole square just for the simplicity okay then our goal is to rearrange the equations and we will gather the like terms so first of all i will uh, move this Two delta t on the right hand side, which I already did, and name this constant d. After that, I will move u i n minus one on the right hand side, and at the end, when I will gather the like terms, I will get something like this. With u i n plus one, I will have the constant one plus two d. With u i n minus one, I have the constant one minus two d, and uh, with u i Plus one n and u i minus one n. I have the constant two d. So uh, what I mean by like terms is the like term in the sense of the time, uh, time discretization, like n plus one, n minus one, and n terms. Because at each time level, we find the value of complete space, like all i's. we will find at each time level we will find all i values okay at the end uh, i will isolate ui n plus 1 by moving this constant 1 plus 2d on the right hand side and this equation number 2 is the discretized form of equation 1 by using du ford frankel method like richardson method in this method we also have to find the uh, initial values at two time levels like n minus 1 and n and the uh, same problem will arise because we have only one initial condition so we will use any one step method like ftcs method to find the value at n time level using n minus 1 time level and by using those two values now we can start with the procedure of du ford frankel method the big advantage of this method is by just taking the average of uin this method is now unconditionally stable it does not need any condition it is stable forever so this is the big advantage of du ford frankel method and the order of this method is delta t in the time domain square in the space domain square and this thing is included because of stability condition we are not moving into those things 
uh, I guess we haven't discussed the order of the previous method so you can always follow this book which I am following uh, the order of FTCS method is uh, delta t in time domain and delta x square in uh, space domain and the order of Richardson method bar delta t square and delta x square and the DG Fort Frankel method has ordered additional term in its order which is delta t by delta x whole square uh, this is because of uh, this additional term is because of consent, uh, consistency analysis we are not moving into that because we are only focused toward making the MATLAB codes of these methods so that's it let's start the MATLAB code of du Ford frankel method we are not doing an example because I already uh, explained FTCS method very clearly so whenever you feel any difficulty you can move back to the video of FTCS method now for the coding of du Ford frankel method I am copying the code of Richardson method which we uh, made in the previous video so I just copied the code of Richardson method now what we have to change is uh, only the iteration of uh, Richardson method we will replace this thing with the U4 Frankel method because in the Richardson method we already applied the one step method to compute the value at next time level so I will only replace this thing with the iterative formula of DG uh, Ford Frankel method so uh, you can see I just wrote the formula iterative formula of DG Ford Frankel method we can compare this formula uh, from our slides okay on the left hand side we have u n plus 1 i and on the right hand side uh, we have 1 minus 2 style d with u n minus 1 i plus 2 d with u n i plus 1 u n i plus 1 plus u n i minus 1 and we will divide this whole thing like here you can see when I will close this bracket this whole thing is divided by 1 plus 2 d 1 plus 2 d like here so that's it we just wrote the code of du Ford frankel method for extra things uh, these f pre def command we already explained these things so if you want to see the results of each iterations uh, like in tabular form you can use this uh, these f print f command you can uh, change your boundary condition you can change your initial condition according to your problem uh, everything else is same and is explained in the previous videos at the end uh, I made the two basic plots at the last time level and at the center of the rod you can say so at the last time level I have x versus u plot and at the center of the rod I have t versus u plot so we already explained uh, what is the meaning of these graphs in our previous videos so let's run this code so I just saved the file with the, the name du fort and I am going to run it ok so I run this code and you can see the value of d which is which doesn't matter in du for frankel method and the method is stable we are getting the same graph which we got in ftcs method and the next thing is when i will change the value of d like i am going to play with this constant and i am running this code for large time interval like 1 to 0 to 1 and also I am playing with the diffusivity constants like this 
the value of d is now 4 the value of d is now 4 but the method is still converging okay you can see it is satisfying the boundary conditions for this uh, time graph you can see at 0 it is 0 at 1 it is 0 and for the space graph you can see at the center of the column this is the behavior this is the behavior at the center of the column you can also observe from this graph that after time 0 0.6 the temperature at the center of the rod is 0 so if I plot this graph for large time interval I will get the 0 temperature after 0 0.6 so there is no meaning to uh, run this problem for large time interval. You can see from here if I run this problem for uh, time 0 to 5. So you will observe from here that the temperature will be 0 at the center of the rod after time 0 0.6. Yes, you can see from here. So for large time interval the temperature is 0 because temperature starting to 0 at after 0 0.53 or you can say 0 0.6. So the big advantage of this method is that this method is unconditionally stable. You can play with these constants whatever you want you can put the value of alpha dx and dt. Uh, you are not worried about the value of this d, this stability constant because this method is unconditionally stable. So that's it. That's all about du Ford frankel method. From the next lecture, we are going to discuss the implicit method that are left to solve the parabolic PDs.